And I'm helping you make ends meet this morning as you start your spring cleaning and you're pulling out all those things you just don't need anymore. Have you thought about trying to get rid of them and maybe make some extra cash holding a garage sale? Well, this morning I'm talking to some pros about how to have a successful sale at your house or maybe getting in on a popular local event. So like these ski boots, this old pot, kite string, who knows who needs that. They always say one man's trash, old paint, who knew, but somebody may be looking for it. Is another man's treasure. Crystal oh, Newman from Lancaster see. gets it. She's been going to garage sales her entire life. Oh, so many times we have had uh, just amazing days. What I love about it is the hunt. Like you don't know what you're gonna find. You also never know what you're going to sell. Crystal's been on the other side Side of the sale as well. I have to say it's a lot more fun to go to them than to have them, but it's also good to purge and get rid of stuff. And depending on how you do it, you can bring in a lot of cash. I asked some of you about your garage sale hauls on a recent second cup. Lori says I've made $800 holding a garage sale and Kim says one year I made $600. You know what's even better about that? That stuff is gone. So if you're thinking about a sale to bring in some extra cash this spring, here are a few things to keep in mind from a pro. Definitely you want to consider the timing. Um, is there anything going on in your neighborhood, like a garden walk or a community wide yard sale? That's when you're going to get the most foot traffic. Number two, you want to make sure you have good signs on busy intersections on the corners and in front of your house. And then finally, the most important is pricing things to move. Because like I said, I want to get rid of things. I don't want to bring it back into the house and have to deal with it again. So let's say you went through, you did your spring cleaning and you pulled out a bunch of things because you want to start your on sale. It can still be really daunting. I get it. So here's another option. You can pay for a table at a sale where you know there'll be a lot of eyes on your stuff. Well, the real benefit of being at the world's largest yard sale is the fact that we drive shoppers. We always get five to 7,000 shoppers over the two days. The world's largest yard sale is May 10th and 11th at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. They partner with the store Rustic Buffalo and have more than 100 garage sailors and 100 crafters who take up booths. You can find new items, repurposed items, and uh, a sense of community. Tables at the sale start at $125. Organizers say putting out that cash is worth it for a lot of people because after 24 years, the sale gets a lot of shoppers. So that's the real plus to our event is that we can guarantee foot traffic. So whether you're planning to hold your own or join in on another sale, a yard or garage sale can be a great way to help you make ends meet. So there you go. Could you get a little extra cash for your stuff? Uh, you've got a lot of stuff that you could get a lot of cash for. I have a few. Just things. saying. We saw. We all saw. Okay.